Good morning, students. Chapter seven: Decimals. Fraction to decimal. Welcome to in your maths class. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss about how to convert fractions into decimals. So let me explain you this concepts with the help of an example over here. So let us consider the fraction say fifteen by two. Now. In order to convert this fraction into decimal, we need to divide numerator by denominator, applying long division method. So, 15 divide by 2. Here, 2, 7 times is 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. Now, as 1 is not divisible by 2, we place a decimal point over here and write down 0 over here. Now, 2, 5 times is 10. Now, ten minus ten here, we get the remainder is zero. Therefore, seven point five is a decimal form of fifteen by two. Now, hope you understood the concepts. Now, let us consider a few more examples and try to convert these fraction into decimals. So, let us consider the first example. This is nineteen by four. Let us divide nineteen by four. Four. Four times is sixteen. Now nineteen minus sixteen. Here we get three. As three is not divisible by four, we place a decimal point over here and zero over here. Now four seven times is twenty-eight. Now thirty minus twenty-eight. We get remainder is two. As two is not divisible by four, we write down zero over here. Now. Four, five times is twenty. Twenty minus twenty, we get the remainder as zero. Therefore, four point seven five is the decimal form of nineteen by four. Now, coming over to second example, let us divide twenty nine by five. Now, here five, five times is twenty five. Twenty nine minus twenty five, we get remainder is four. Four is not divisible by five. Replace the decimal point over here, and write down zero over here. Now, five eight times is forty. Forty minus forty, we can get zero. Hence, five point eight is decimal form of nineteen by five. Now, let us go with third example and divide fifty seven by twelve here. Twelve four times is forty eight. Fifty seven minus forty eight. We get remainder as nine. Now nine is not divisible by twelve. Replace it a small point over here and write down zero over here. Now twelve seven times is eighty four. Nineteen minus eighty four. We get the remainder as six. Six is not divisible by two. Write down one more zero over here and twelve five times is sixty. Now sixty minus sixty, we get the remainder as zero. Hence, four point seven five is the decimal form of fifty seven by twelve. Let's more practice an example with a denominator that isn't ten. Seven sixteen. Is it the same as seven divided by sixteen? Without a calculator, we will have to use same long division method. Sixteen goes into seven, zero times, because it is too big. So we will add a zero and then a decimal point. Now we know that the sixteen goes into seventy four times. So we can add that digit to our answer. Four times sixteen is sixty four. So we have a remainder as six. Sixteen can't goes into six. We will add another zero. Now we can see that sixteen goes into sixty three times. Since three times sixteen is forty-eight, leaving us with a remainder of twelve. Adding a zero again, we know that sixteen goes into one hundred twenty seven times, and seven times sixteen is one hundred twelve, leaving us with. Another remainder of eight. Adding one more zero, 
we can see that 16 goes into 80 five times but this time we have a remainder of zero so in this case we are done as another example let's try the fraction one third three goes into one zero times because it is too big so we will add a zero and then add a decimal point three goes into ten three times three times three is nine and our remainder becomes one adding another zero we will do this again three goes into ten three times three times three is nine as a remainder becomes one at this point you might notice that we are going to get three over and over and over this is an example of a repeating decimals as our answer we will write 0 0.3 with a line over the 3 as this presents a repeating number